In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this animated grand opening slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. I, as you can see here, I have put a big text which I have mentioned as grand opening and again at the top you can add some text like come celebrate a grand opening and you can mention the date and the time at the bottom and then I have put one a red ribbon uh, with a scissor and how this slide works is when I click the scissor will cut the ribbon and the ribbon will fall down. So let me just show you how it works when I click you can see here it cuts and it falls down. Alright, so I have created one more slide where I have used uh, this kind of uh, different background and then I have used this uh, normal uh, bold letters. Okay, so when I click again the same animation works and it uh, falls the it, uh, it the ribbons gets cut and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background in this case i have used this uh, blue color combination you can see here i have used some light blue and dark blue combination and then i have used the type radial and the direction from center all right then i'm going to draw a caesar for that go to insert shapes select the circle hollow draw the circle hollow small one maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white all right let me just put it here and then go to insert shape select one rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with black and rotate it a little bit and make sure that you have to place the box or this rectangle something like this okay some part which is going below this oval shape and this also it should be somewhat it should be the oval shape should be visible from the left side okay all right it should be like this you have to position like this again if you want to increase the size you can increase it also but anyway not a problem so next thing once you placed this rectangle like this hold the first of all select this shape hold the shift key select this one go to merge shape and i'm going to click on the fragment all right then let me just zoom again this inside i'm just going to select and delete delete and this side also delete and bottom also delete so i end up getting a shape something like this but the problem with this one you can see it's too much thick so i cannot reduce it now if i reduce it it becomes like this so first of all from the beginning only you have to uh, make it a shape which is somewhat uh, narrow so let me just undo this part okay again so again i'm going to just reduce the size all right so maybe this is okay so now you can see here how i did that one so first again select this one hold the shift key select this shape format merge shape and fragment then delete the unwanted i don't need this also i don't need and this one so you can see here i have ended get, getting a shape something like this and from the top also i'm getting i'm going to uh, cut it to give a more kind of a uh, scissor shape for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle give black color shape outline no outline and i'm just go to, going to rotate it and then i'm going to place it like this so that you know i can give a kind of something like this this shape so i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape something which looks like this i'm going to select all of these shapes again go to the shape format merge shape and click on union now press ctrl d to duplicate give some gray color all right rotate i'm going to make it uh, flip horizontal send this to back and i'm going to place it something like this you can see here again if you want to tilt a little bit you can tilt again this also a little bit tilt you can do like this all right so now go to insert shapes i'm going to select one small uh, oval shape draw oval shape like this smaller one shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark color let me just zoom in and then i'm going to exactly place it here 
all right so you can see here i've got a scissor shape something like this so again i'm going to select all this shape let me just put it down here okay or i can just go to view guides and i'll try to make it in the center i think this is okay then go to insert shape select a rectangle draw a rectangle okay till this part shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give a red color for the time being and later on you can change it and again i'm going to make it to be positioned in the center press ctrl d to duplicate and add one more line here okay let me just select this scissor and i'm going to make it more on the top and this one i'm going to select and send this to back all right so you can see here one part it looks like this and this part we are going to cut it okay so it looks like that. and if you want to add some shadow effect also you can just press ctrl d and you can give some dark color and you can put it at the back like this okay what you can do but uh, that i'm not going to do if time permits you can do that one all right so now sorry let me just undo this part because yeah this is okay so you can see here i have designed this one and later on we can add some text here at the top but before that one if you want you can go to the picture or texture fill and you can go to insert online pictures and i can just type for example uh, red satin all right so i got this particular different uh, satin clothes okay i'm just going to select that one for example if i want to select this one click insert and that is inserted here okay the same thing i can just simply copy it here so depending on your requirement you can just uh, adjust it according to your need okay now let's do the animation part so close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane for the first this particular uh, scissor okay this part of the scissor i'm going to add animation and i'm going to more emphasis effects here and i'm going to say spin okay so spin is full spinning i don't want that much anyway click ok double click this one here amount i'm going to make it only 15 percent okay and press enter key and just say auto reverse and timing medium or fast or whatever maybe i can put it fast if you want and click ok so you can see here it comes like this now i'm going to select this one animation painter click on this one so again this is also going to the same that uh, the uh, clockwise direction so for this one double click this amount 15 percent instead of clockwise i'm going to choose the counterclockwise all right and click ok and this should happen with previous at the same time it should happen right so if i play you can see here it happens like this it cuts you can see here it cuts like this all right so even this also i have to first of all this particular shape i have to bring this to front okay so that uh let me just show you bring to front sorry this shape okay and this one i'll just say bring to front all right now if i play it cuts like this okay now this particular uh, animation i would like to do for this one okay for this animation go to the again animations add animation you can go and select the motion paths and this line animation or you can go to the more uh motion paths and then select the down click ok it comes like this let me just zoom out and this one it should come like this okay the same thing animation painter i'm going to click on this one now instead of this like this it should come like this all right and this should happen with previous and this also should happen with previous only there should be some delay here so i'm going to just delay this one both now if i play you can see here it cuts like this again i can make it more delay or if you want you can just reduce remove the smooth start and smooth end click ok and here also remove this one 
click OK. Now if I play, you can see here it cuts, the scissor cuts the ribbon and the ribbon falls down here. Alright, so now once this is done, let me just add some text. Let me just go to this one, close the animation pane, go to insert text box. I will just say grand opening. I'll make the font as some golden color. All right, you can see here some golden color. Center, again, any good font of your choice, you can choose it. Maybe let me just choose, I don't know whether how it looks, but anyway, make it bold, increase the size. Okay, you can see here, I have used this particular uh, font, which is the add-in Kimberg. If it is not available, you can download it or you can give your own fonts here so once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give a black color send this to back and i'm just going to put it here so it looks like this grand opening with the shadow effect all right and then you can add some more detailed text here so now when i click it cuts and it falls down here so again if you want to do some more animation here uh, for example animation means this animation it should go more of this side I can just move it like this all right again let me just play when I click it cuts and then it falls down like this so that's the end of our tutorial